who got married probably in an Elvis chapel in Las Vegas, but okay. All right, guys, real quick before I get started with this episode of Lucifer, don't forget to get the full uncut, unedited raw reaction to Lucifer on my Patreon. The link will be at the top of the description. So if you want to watch these episodes along with me in their entirety as well as get them super, super early, definitely check it out. Otherwise, of course, we'll still be on YouTube, just heavily edited. But other than that, let's get in this episode, guys. I'm really excited because Lucifer left. I don't know where he went. I don't know if he's coming back or what, but I want to see what's going on and get right into it, guys. Here we go. So is... Oh my god, what? Then why okay. did my son abandon me? Huh? I mean, a mother has needs. Don't you agree? Okay, yeah. Uh, That's a little creepy. I gotta go. This is a big move, man. Are you sure about this? Oh, yes. I don't want him to be No, evil. handing over. It's not gonna go cheap. <laughs> what is it? Also, does Lucifer just like con people into giving him money, like banks and stuff? He's gone. It is what it is. Yeah, Chloe, you don't have to pretend with me. I know you're upset. Oh my god, the CW billboard. <laughs> so, we got Ash Corrigan. Is he looking over her? Like, making sure death, she's okay? Trauma. Got into a bar fight and everything went to head out here. Hmm. Is that the dude the mom was making it with? Band. Can't believe he's gone. We were in I don't think it was place. nice. The album was selling, man. What's gonna happen to us? Come on, dude. Ash is dead. You should talk to Courtney. Ash's ex, she's um very passionate. They fought nonstop, even got violent once. Why are they so concerned about the band breaking up, but they didn't say a single thing about how they're upset that their friend is dead? <laughs> he's back like nothing happened. Of course I'm okay. That was so silly. She was so worried. Mr. I was really, really worried about you. Shh. Yes, I'm serious explaining the deal, man. Yes, I know that, Daniel, and I'm about to. Should we all have a Right, like, down? you can't no. just come in here Spill with a happy face. I'm dying face. to know where you've been. Lucifer! Are you kidding me? <laughs> he paid that sketchy diamond guy a ginormous pile of cash for it. Oh, that's what <laughs> they were doing. My wife. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, Lucifer? Finds this out about Chloe and goes and has a whole fit about it. But I am sorry. I should have told you that I needed time off. This isn't about vacation hours. This isn't about time it's clocks, about their Lucifer. This relationship <laughs> and their friendship. I thought we were friends. More friends. than that. Yes, friends. That's exactly what we are. Just friends. I have Ash's ex-wife in interrogation. Right. Oh. You think they like me? No. What's not to like? <laughs> I can name a few things. He was the selfish, childish one. I completely understand. I was with an immature partner and it was mad It's crazy making. Yeah, wanted to kill him. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> well, who should be talking about? So, you want to explain the domestic abuse charge? Like that like hurts my heart for Chloe. I'm not proud of that. I get that he's upset, but like Chloe had nothing to do with any of this. She and Cotton Candy 86 are married. What? He specifically oh told me to watch over Chloe after everything that we did to save her. I don't, I don't understand. Lucifer's concocting a plan. Chloe doesn't seem so bad now, huh? It is kind of cute though how he's like, she's like getting married to that, but like she never was like that with Chloe. I kind of hope that Dan is like there for her and is a friend. I think he'd be a good middle ground between them two. Mannequin hair is in the crowd behind the yellow tape. Oh shit. She's right at town. Unbelievable. Well, it's highly unlikely <laughs> for Ash's divorce mediator to be lurking at the scene of his murder, yes? I guess she helped after all. She's not so bad. Did you know he plays piano? Like, better than Elton Tom. I know plenty about music, thank you. <laughs> Do you now, detective? And right, yes, what's your favorite band then? She knows <laughs> that he plays piano. What about our partnership? Our partnership ended when you ghosted me and the entire department. Right. You can't just march back in here like nothing's wrong. You can't just grab what you want when you want. Good. Put him in his place. Kick him out. Like, even romantic stuff aside, he was a dick. I don't need you anymore. Well, surely you don't mean that. I do. I wonder if... We can go. Both of you. I wonder if her being like this, I can't do this anymore, I'm done attitude, is going to help him, like, 
trust her and that she's not involved with this whole scheme with his mom and dad. Candy and I have no secrets. Isn't that the key to a successful marriage? Yeah, that's that's it. Like maybe he'll say like, wait, she's trying to get out of my life so that I can't be being controlled by my dad, you know? She just fired me. Shocking. I know. <laughs> but if you felt so Shocking. manipulated, why return to Chloe at all? Because well, he misses him. I mean, I tried to leave, but I just felt that I missed my work. Well, now you don't have your work. I can do something none of the other girls could do. You want to see? <laughs> oh, yes. No. No? But, you know, the part about showing up. <laughs> She's a businesswoman. That's not actually bad advice. She's just going to keep showing up, like in the beginning. I wish Linda would be a friend and just be like, dude, what are you doing? I'm going to put things back the way they were, Dan. You can't. It's yeah. far past that, dude. I've been there. You expect me to let you go undercover with your stripper wife. Right, first of all, she's an exotic dancer. Stripper is pejorative. Well, far be it for me to disrespect your bride. Thank you. And secondly, Candy is a natural at getting me to talk. Oh, I bet she is. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd say we're prejudiced against exotic dancers. Okay, we're good. Yeah, that's totally what it is. That's what she's upset with. Are you Lucifer's sister? <laughs> no, Lucifer, don't be rude. Who is your top heavy friend? <laughs> I'm sorry that we didn't invite you to the wedding. We just decided no enemies. And you got married probably in an Elvis chapel in Las Vegas, but okay. Do you like shopping? Do I? It's kind of sad though. She seems pretty nice. And Lucifer. But his real feelings are not for her. See that vein popping out the side of your neck? Same thing happens when I throw the dishes in the trash instead of washing them. <laughs> You're mad. I think everybody would be mad at that. Oh, idiot. I feel like she, yeah, she just looks stupid. Like, it feels dumb. But he always comes back around, Chloe. Yeah, but this time, I don't want him to. Maybe you and Lucifer need a mediator. <sighs> I think they do. Just saying. I think it should be Dan. Maybe Maze. Maybe Maze could do it too. But I think Dan for sure. Oh, no, no, no. You can call me Candy. What the fuck? And you two have been married for five days. Ever. Five Forever. days. It, five days. Feels like it. But we've been through a lot in that time, and I say that we work brilliantly together, don't we, sweetie? <laughs> well, if you're talking about the bedroom, yeah. Oh my god, they're gonna use him to mediate. I've been completely faithful. I take the vows of marriage very seriously. And that's why you chose an idiotic, bedazzled tweener as your partner. I'm sorry, Candy, there's no name calling in here, even. If it's to yourself. <laughs> They're gonna blow this case. They're being so obvious. I am the one who almost died. Yes, I know. That is what I'm talking about. Have you ever known me to lie? It's just like, I get what I he's know. saying, but like, you say that this is what made you go through hell because she almost died, but like, what did you do afterwards for her? You ran away, like you left and gave her no explanation and didn't answer her phone calls or anything. I had heard through a friend that... She kind of sounds like Harley Quinn when she talks. Well, my husband, you see, has a lot of money. And so if you were to swing things my way... She should sound angry and be like, I want everything that he owns. I can't do things like that. Why not? You did with Ash Corrigan. Oh my God. LAPD. <laughs> we know about your side deal with Why Ash did he Corrigan. come in? What did you desire? I wanted... His wife. Yes. I wanted the Heavy Willies to be the hugest band ever. Oh. I did it for the band. Oh my god. I did it for the music. <laughs> so you were a fan. So it's not ethical unless you're a fan of their band. <laughs> Holy Buy shit. Buy the albums himself using his ex-wife's money to inflate sales. Talk about self-promotion. All they needed was a little nudge and... It it worked. I thought that Ash was gonna kick Marla out of the band that night after the gig, so I went down there to see how it went down. That's when I saw the police standing there across the street. Maybe it is someone in the band, because I noticed that they were, seemed like they didn't care. Go home. Trust me. Candy needs you more than I do. Yeesh. You deserve it, dude. I know you two have some kind of plan. Well... Right about that. So many plans. 
tell me. I watch her like divorce him. Like she's trying to get his money. Why don't you talk and I'll listen? Aww. I'm a good listener. Like right now, I feel I kind of exactly bad for her. You're trying to say. But I didn't. You want what's best for your son and you'll do anything to make sure he's happy. You're my mom now too. We're family. <laughs> Come again. What if there is no hidden agenda, Mom? Right. What if this candy's exactly who she seems? Then the hidden agenda is for Lucifer to get over doing. It. Chloe. Whatever he wants as usual. Well, it sounds like he's trying to help. Why are you rooting for him? I'm not rooting okay, for him. Okay, anyhow. Remember those marks on Ash's head? You think they oh. came from the knobs on Marla's base? We gotta find her and find that instrument. Yeah, I was gonna say they should get a warrant to get the base. Oh my god. Los Angeles. <laughs> He's so annoying. He's always one step ahead. This next song is for a, uh, a special someone. A woman who says she doesn't need me anymore. Yeah, well, I say she's wrong. <laughs> the person that yelled, I need you. Oh my god, what? Oh, we forgot they were working a case for a second. See? You need me. Aw. I want more, though. I want more from him. You know I watched over Chloe for weeks after you disappeared, right? Angel or creeper, brother. It's a fine line. You asked me to guard her, so I did, like an idiot. You see, because I thought that she meant something to you. We both know she's special. I love that Amenadale is, like, vouching for them. So that means it's okay to turn your back on Chloe? Just... Ignore her feelings. Aww. She had no control over feelings that aren't real. But she doesn't know that. You're protecting her because she had no choice. So I gave it back. To I doubt that, though. By holding up a shield made of candy. <laughs> I bet you something's gonna happen to the point where she did have a choice and that she is not being controlled. She faced her greatest fears all because she loves you. Oh, okay. Yes, she hurt you. But she was just doing what she thought was best for you. And from what you just told me, yeah. I'm quite sure you can relate to that. Right. You hurt Chloe to protect her. She didn't tell you about Chloe to protect you. And he's not recognizing what she did. She almost got stuck there. Innocent people don't run. Or get a dead guy's it's... blood in their guitars. Whoa, what? Ash's blood was all over Somebody else face. probably I don't know anything about that. I, I ran it? because of these. What is it? Fake what, you're fake IDs? There's a bunch more. Looks like they cover the time of death. Like I said, I didn't do it. Then what if it was? Ash's blood get all of your base. Hold what on. if it was the dude that was obsessed? That's Doug, oh. our drummer. He loaded our gear. Doug had the base last. He was the one that said, like, "What about our band?" Can't talk now. I'm about to catch a killer. Gonna have to call you back. How does Chloe not hear this? Stay back. This is all Ash's fault. Shoot him. What's, it it's not like he can do anything. Ash said he was gonna go solo. He was gonna bail on all of us. Why is it she's shooting him? It's not like she has. It's not like he has a knife or a gun. I'm useless to her, you see. What? That's not true, Mr. First. I mean, you said as much yourself. Wait. What the hell's going on? <laughs> the detective doesn't need me anymore. So, come on, do your worst. About time. You okay? I think so. Why doesn't she do that in the beginning? <laughs> it's not like he could have slit his throat or shot him. He's in the other room giving a statement. Don't worry, he's fine. Did you save him? Thank you. Oh. Aw. Well, alrighty. She is a nice person. It's detective this and detective that. Working with you means so much to him. Oh. Well, he's got a strange way of showing it. Didn't you two just go through a super banana situation with like poison? He kept saying how he almost lost you and it was hell and stuff. Maybe you were well-intentioned somewhere deep, deep down. Perhaps that counts for something. I'm glad you think so, son. There has to be another explanation that makes it so that that's not true. Why do you think you lost that fight? Oh, I don't know. Let's have a think, shall we? Not enough cardio. The fact that dear old dad's slightly almighty. Because I was young, woefully foolish, and... Unarmed? The fact is, I didn't have the sword, and Dad destroyed it soon after, so... What if I told you that the sword was right here, unearthed, 
and it's already in your possession. What? The flaming Chloe. sword is Asriel's blade. We have everything we need to go home. Wait, what? The Oscar goes to Candy Morning Star. You think they bought it? Yes, my mother doesn't know what hits her, so thank you for helping me peek inside that scheming head of hers. What the hell? Oh, that reminds me. That's crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. You keep that. Yeah, divorce is quite expensive these days. Fact. <laughs> I totally have so many plans. <laughs> Aww. That makes me feel plans. so much better. Oh my god. But then, like, what's he gonna tell Chloe now? Like, it was all made up. Or is he just gonna pretend that, like, didn't work out? Sorry. What is going on with you, Detective Deck? Yeah, exactly. <sighs> like, what was the point? It's none of my business, but I wouldn't screw that one up. Aww. I'm trying not to. Aww. I can't believe it was all just a ploy. And I was looking. All right, there we go. That was season two, episode fourteen, I believe, of Lucifer. This was really good. Um, we found out a bunch of this episode. I'm like mad at Lucifer the entire episode because he comes back to town two weeks later after no one could get a hold of him. They don't know if he's dead. They don't know if he's alive. They don't know anything and he's married and this girl is like an ex exotic dancer and is like a stereotypical like blonde hit stripper essentially and um of course chloe's confused and just feels like everything that they went through and experienced was for nothing like they were connecting and almost were a couple before all that happened and then he just like left he just up and left. And I get I get the whole point of like Lucifer went through a lot too, but Chloe doesn't know about any of that stuff. He didn't like Chloe's not I don't know. Lucifer has the opportunity to as well like to tell her and to show her who he really is and to prove it, you know? And he doesn't because I feel like he's afraid of losing her, but it's making it so like how is she supposed to sympathize with something that she hasn't seen or been told about? It just it's just not possible and it's really sucks seeing chloe like hurt that bad and I'm, it was really sweet when he sang the song for her and that kind of like cheered her back up and realized like how much she really does care for him i really just want there to be something that makes it so chloe's love for lucifer is real and that it's not set up whether that be like them finding out that he isn't in control of her or that be like maybe Lucifer breaks into heaven with the flaming sword to like figure shit out. I don't know. Maybe something like that will happen and then Chloe will like be free or something from anybody's grasp but maybe she'll still still love him. You know, maybe it won't be like something that goes away. So the blade they're talking about, that's the one that Uriel had, right? That he was trying to use. Pretty sure it is. So I don't know what their plan is and I hope Lucifer doesn't just decide to go home just because he's upset about the Chloe situation that would break Chloe altogether, but I really hope that Chloe finds out sometime soon because this is painful. I do like, though, like they said that they, like, Lucifer went through a lot, too. You know, like, Chloe doesn't know, but he literally went to hell and back. And I'm glad, too, that he spoke to his mom and was, like, acknowledged what she did for him because he can be upset, but, like, she didn't do that. You know, she just didn't tell him. And it's not like, I mean, he did, he did the same thing to Chloe tried to protect her by disappearing and whatnot, which is essentially like what the mom did. He didn't tell, she didn't tell Lucifer to protect him. And I feel like Lucifer and the mom actually have a lot more in common than they think. But um, yeah, I'm excited to see where we go from here and to see where the storyline goes. I really enjoyed the episode, but I think that is pretty much it. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.